Yo, what's good, Trist fans and Trist fam? So today, we're gonna be checking out Pentatonix Evolution of Music. Y'all have asked me to react to Pentatonix for a long, long time now. And I remember watching this specific video several years ago, and I really haven't watched it since, so I'd really love to check it out with you guys and react to it from the perspective of a vocal coach and someone who has gone through way more music history classes than I can remember, because I was asleep. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually really like music history. So let's see what I can dig up from my college years of music history and see if I can give some context and an analysis of the vocals of this evolution of music video by Pentatonix. So this is gonna start out in the 11th century, and 11th 11th century music was very plain, monotone, and it was mostly done in church. Let's see if my music history knowledge is going to stand the test of time. Yep. It was mostly church music. So I think they skipped a lot. 11th century music was much more monotone and just straight. And then as music progressed, they started adding more harmonies. All the different singers would sing different lines and different rhythms and stuff like that. So music got a little bit more interesting. 11th century music is kind of boring by a lot of today's standards. I like it, but it, some people might think it's boring because it was meant to just praise. It was meant to praise God. It's not supposed to have all this flash and pizzazz. It's supposed to sound epic. <laughs> Classical. <laughs> So they skipped really, really quickly there from <laughs> medieval era up until the, the 1900s. So as we hear the microphone become more and more prominent, the music is going to drastically change. Very jazz. This is like pre rock. Because you're mine, I walk the line. <laughs> Oh my god, his voice is so good. Wow. Some people call him a baritone, but I think that they only think that he's a baritone um, compared to Mitch, because he's still very much a tenor. Mitch is just a high tenor. Oh, that's cool. The color starts to come in. So the music has definitely gotten like sassier as it's gone on. I don't know if that's just their music choice, but that's interesting to hear. Wow, she's such a good singer. And their blend is amazing. No, 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 no. 1970s. Music of the 1970s was very bombastic. And complex. Like, it was incredibly complex. And it gets more simple as the 80s come around. And then the 90s was dominated by boy bands. And you know what's actually kind of disappointing is like music history in college and part of the reason why it was kind of lame is like they didn't it was like so little time was dedicated to modern music i took music history classes at several different schools and most of what we focused on was freaking gregor the ancient texts, the classical the romantic blah 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 and then when it came to like modern music it was just sort of brushed aside it was like oh yeah and all and then modern music this happened but like so much has actually happened in the last hundred years of modern music it's ridiculous Britney, iconic. Music from the 90s into the 2000s changed so much. 
remember when. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. I remember when I lost my It's starting to sound much more modern very slowly here. Ooh, classic Gaga. Just to be able to like, define so much of modern pop music as much as people don't like to hear that. Call me maybe. Oh, call me maybe. Hey! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our medley of some of our favorite songs throughout history. Sorry if we left out one of your favorite artists. Throughout history? <laughs> Sorry, that's only funny because they definitely only focused. I didn't expect for that to happen. I forgot They definitely only focused on the last hundred years and when there's like 2,000 years of music I wish that my music history teachers would use this song as like an example and used it to like teach primarily modern music Because there's like they did such a good job capturing all the different sounds from all the different eras Like they did a really good job making everything sound super distinct and different while still having a sound that is very modern Do you know what I mean? Because like 1920s music is pretty boring by today's standards to most people But they still made it sound super modern and of course their vocals are always on point I would love I've heard lots of Mitch Grassy I don't know the name of the guy in the middle. I'd love to hear more from him, more of the girl, and then there's a bass and then there's a drummer, a drum dude, a beatboxer. So I would love to hear more from all of them. If any of them have like solo stuff out, I would love to check it out. Feel free to drop that down in the comments. Drop a like on this video if you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and check out my Instagram and my Twitter. And also my website, youcansinganything.com. Until next time, Tristan's and Tristan, peace out.